he sunk down with sleep and fell down for the third log and was taken up dead. Verse 10, and, and Paul went down and <laughs> fell on him and embraced him. He said, trouble not yourself. Come on now. For his life is in him. Verse 11, and when he therefore will come again, and he had broken bread and eaten and talked a long while, even to the break of day, so he eat a part. Praise God. Amen. Today I will be speaking on eulogies. Mm -hmm. As I was preparing for today, and I was doing research, mm -hmm. praise God, I looked up his name. And his name means fortunate. Fortunate. And I didn't know fortunate has so many definitions. <laughs> Depending on how it's used inside of, of a sentence. But I do know thus that in the Bible day when you name your child, it, they named it for a specific reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a specific when God made a promise with Abraham and he revealed to Abraham that he would be the father of many nations, he changed, he changed his name. He went from Abraham to Abraham, even to his wife, they changed. Her name had changed from Sarah to Sarah. Uh -huh. And it, even, even, even to Jacob, God changed his name mm -hmm. to Israel. So his name says so much about him that he had to be a man if he was fortunate. Fortunate can mean one of great wealth. Yeah. Yeah. Fortunate can also mean you're lucky. Fortunate can mean you're beneficial. But I did not know fortunate means sitting pretty. Yes. Right. When I saw that definition and I went back to the scripture, I said, wow, I think I'm going to have to use that definition of fortunate. What I also realized is that Paul went up to a third story of a building to conduct his services. Then I read the words some more and start thinking about the word of God. I said it was also in the upper room before Jesus was crucified that he broke bread with the disciples so they were up in a building. It was also in a higher place, an upper room where, and that's chapter one, that they received the Holy Ghost. Yes. Yes. They was in a higher, higher place. And what God want us to do as believers, he want us to go higher yes. in the Lord. Yes. He want us to elevate our prayers. He, he want us to elevate our prayer life. Yes. He, he want yes. us to elevate the way that we shout. And yes. He want yes. us to elevate the way that we preach. And, yes. and He want us to elevate. He want us to go high. Amen. In the Lord. Oh, I can see you to just being a, a good man of God because even though he got sleeping, he stayed in the house of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Oh, that preacher was a preaching and preaching, and I could see him sitting in the window trying to stay awake and trying to catch some fresh air, but something happened to the man. Mm -hmm. As he sat in the window, he, he, he got a little sleepy and, 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 and drowsy, and, and he couldn't stay awake any longer, and he mm -hmm. fall. From the third floor. Mm. Uh -huh. You just often put.
from their mind of a children pouring when I think about Humpty Dumpty. Oh, yeah. oh my God. It was one of my favorite poems in pre in pre-K, hallelujah. The poem said that Humpty Dumpty, he sat on a wall. Uh -huh. Oh God. Y'all know it. Humpty Dumpty. He had a great fall. All the king horses. And all the king men, y'all got it. They couldn't put Humpty Dumpty back together again. I wonder how many Humpty Dumpties that's sitting on your wall. And when I thought about it, I said that wall represents all the things that we put our trust into. Amen. Oh, somebody got their trust in money. Uh -huh. Somebody got their trust in people. Amen. Somebody got their trust in just or that. Uh -huh. But I'm here to tell you today, accept the Lord. Keep you and accept the Lord. Cover you and accept the Lord. Walk with you and talk with you. Glory yes. be to God. Yes. You can't put your trust in nothing yes. else like you can yes. in the Lord. Because yes. people will walk away oh, from you. Yes. So many people don't experience a drought, especially during this pandemic. Yes. Oh, sometimes you realize that your best friend ain't your friend. Yes. Oh my God, sometimes you realize, hallelujah, that the very thing that you put your trust into, it can fail from right. time to time. Yes. But the Lord is calling us to elevate your faith mm. to a higher plane. That even if you can't see it, glory be to God. Even if you, you don't understand it, glory be to God. He wants you to trust in the Lord, hallelujah. He'll never leave you. He won't forsake your glory be to God. Can David say it like this? He said, even when my mother and my father forsake me, Amen. he said, the Lord will take me up. Hallelujah. Yes, he will. And God said, I'll never leave you. I won't forsake your glory Amen. be to God. I'll be a lover in the midnight hour. Hallelujah. Yes. I'll be a mother to the motherless, glory be to God. Mm -hmm. I'll be a father to the fatherless, Amen. hallelujah. Amen. I'll be a friend to the friendless, hallelujah. Yes. He said he is the great I am. Yes. 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 Glory, to glory to God. He said I am the great I am. <coughs> and then he left it just like that, I am. Woo, yes. I am. Woo, glory to God. Glory, glory. We all know him as something. Some of us know him as a healer. Yes. 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 Some of us know him as a way maker. Yes. Yes. Some of us know him as a comforter. Yes. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Some of us know him as a mentor. Amen. Some of us know him as a counselor. Yes. Glory to God. Some of us know him as an old time God. Yes. Glory to God. Some of us know him as a way maker God. Yes. Promise keep yes. up.
And then I, and another day I thought about, you that just wasn't just fortunate. Mm -hmm. Somebody would have said he was lucky. No. Uh -huh. no. Huh? Yeah. Some of y'all think y'all lucky to be here. That's right. <laughs> right. Yep. Huh? Yes. You ain't lucky. That's what the right. songwriter say? God bless. I'm just love. Oh, no. 
of an elder. Never in the law. If you want to be anointed, if you want to be appointed, just think about the olive that we use in church. The olive oil. In order to get it, you got to crush. Ooh, it got to crush the oil. Out of the olive. In order to produce all the oil. Can you imagine how many olives get crushed a year mm. so that we can have all of all for church, mm. all of all for cooking, Come on. all of all for whatever you want to use it for. Amen. But it got to go through the process yes, of being crushed, uh -huh. of being beaten, yeah. and thrown away because what's in it is already out. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hey God, I can see it. I can see Elijah and Ezekiel 37, where God took him into the valley of dry bones. I thought about Jesus. I said, even Jesus was laid by the Holy Ghost into a wilderness. He had a wilderness experience for the Holy Ghost. Took him mm -hmm. to that desert land. I can see Ezekiel going out in the valley full of dead bones. And I can see him looking at them lifeless bones on the ground. But the Lord took him there. Glory be to God. And Psalms 23 allows us to know that, yeah, though we walk sometimes yeah, amen. through the valley of the shadow of death, yeah. we don't have to fear because his rod is with us. Hallelujah. When you go through your valley experience, we know that we got the word of God that's here today that we can use it. Glory be to God. It's going to be the word of God that's going to bring you out. Hallelujah. Yes. It's going to be the word of God that's going to make manifestation. Yes. It's the word of God that we lean and depend on. Hallelujah. Yes. That's going to allow us hallelujah, to believe even more. Because the more we experience with God, Amen. the greater your faith is in God. Yes. See, everybody don't got the same measure of faith. Right. Don't get mad at people. They don't, they're not on your level. Right. They don't have your level of faith. Right. Everybody ain't got the faith to see their possible. Everybody ain't got the faith to believe God and do great things. Hallelujah. You see people who and holler and shout, glory be to God, but let them go through. Amen. Genesis 
chapter 1, glory be to God. The Bible said that the earth was born and that the Spirit of the Lord is hover over the waters. But things had to change when God started talking. Hallelujah. Things came into being when God started speaking things yes. into existence. And what God is trying to get the people of God to do is not wait until it happens, but use your mouth to make it happen. Yes. Speak. Hallelujah. Yes. We can speak it into existence. Yes, right. Amen. You can speak life. Amen. Or you can speak death. Yes. And not only do you need to speak, Thank you, God. but you got to trust God. Yes, you do. That he is able yes, he is. to keep you from falling. Amen. And if he allow you to fall, if he allow some things to die, mm -hmm. he got the power to resurrect. That's right. Amen. Jesus said, I am the life. Yes. And he said, I am the resurrection. Amen. But he want to get us to go higher. Higher in the Lord. Amen. That's what he's trying to get us to do. Amen. Go higher. Amen. Higher in the Lord. Amen. Put your trust in God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. He said, if you seek first the kingdom of God Amen. and his righteousness, yes. he said, all these things will be added unto you. Amen. After you start doing what the pursuing, the pursuing of God. That's right. Huh? Amen. Right. Some things you ain't going to get until you just start moving. Amen. Amen. Huh? Amen. That's all he went to just go. He said, I am part of you. But you got to go. You got to go. You got to move. Yes, you, you got to talk. That's right. You open up your mouth, uh -huh. and I fill it with words. Yeah. Hallelujah! Yes, somebody give me a praise. Yes, we will. Who shall I? Yes, we will. Hallelujah! Where are ministers at? All the people that God called into the ministry. Amen. Pastor I name, Minister David, Pastor Amen. Pastor Bobby.
You don't see our uh, animals going in our uh, belts, buying clothes. <laughs> huh? No. We no. are so much different. He said, what is man that thou mindful of him? Yes. He created just a little lower than the angels. Yes. Glory be to God. <laughs> but I want you to begin right now to prophesy to your valley, your valley of dry bones. And we can prophesy to one another. Uh, Every minister in the house, get yourself a partner, mm -hmm. Lord, and, and minister to them right now. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, yeah. we speak to our valleys. Hallelujah. The valley of John Bones, hallelujah. God is not the man that he should lie. God is not the son of man that he should repent. Hallelujah. All the promises of God is a yes and a amen. Hallelujah. We prophesy to bank accounts. Hallelujah. We prophesy increase. We prophesy to the pocketbooks. You are rich and not poor. Hallelujah. You don't like any good things. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. You are wealthy. You are fortunate. Hallelujah. Open up your mouth and speak life. Life. We come against rich crown. Hallelujah. We come against every occult. Hallelujah.
Jesus. Oh my Lord, it was cruel to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And all know they did. They didn't believe that he was going to raise again. So they put the soldiers in front of the tomb to make sure nobody wouldn't mess with the body. The first night, the second night, but the third night, something happened at the graveside of Jesus. Something began to shake. Something began to move. And all of a sudden, everything that happened hindered the will of God. Even the soldiers had to get out of the way. Because when the Son of God came out of the tomb, he came out just like he said. Because God is not the man. I'm going to share this vision with y'all. I'm going to share it with you. Oh, glory to God. I was walking. Matter of fact, the Lord gave me this vision. I was walking in a hot spot. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Going to the gas station. I was going to a hot spot for something. And I was just going in the store. And the Lord showed me something. It was so, so real to I got excited. He showed me. He showed me bills of money raining. He showed me money raining. Who Shabbat? I believe we ain't seen nothing yet. Who Shabbat? I believe we ain't seen nothing yet. Thank you, Lord. He showed me money raining. For my other star, I believe we might to see a turn. Oh, Shabbat. God got the power to break. And he got the power to make. He got the power to dry up stuff. And the same God, he got the power. Oh, Shabbat. To make things flourish. But I believe. I honestly believe. We get ready to see a move of God. I don't like never before. Yeah, yeah. I believe God. By the fact that this year was so the way that it was, mm. I believe so many great things is getting ready to happen. Yeah. Yeah. So it won't compare to the disaster yeah. that we've been through. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh my God. God is up to something great. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited yeah. about what God is doing. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, that's I just, so I just heard God say to give it to you. Uh -huh. um, 